What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael Mitchell, AKA Dollar Mike. I'm back at it again with another video. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna teach you, or rather show you and tell you exactly why you should never use your debit card again, ever. It's pointless, useless, nothing. Let's do it. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna say, yes, I do have a Sony A6400, a very nice camera sitting right here that I could be using to record this very video, but instead I'm using my iPhone. I know, shame on me. But anyway, I have that that's coming for you know future stuff. So once all the equipment comes in for that and I get everything set up, of course, we're switching over, baby, because you know, yes. Regardless, back to the video, let's do it. So of course, you should not be using your debit card to make any purchases, especially if you're over the age of 18, and instead of that, you would use a credit card. I've been talking about credit cards on this channel for a little bit now, I had a couple of videos on them, you should check those out. But regardless, you should use a credit card for all of those purchases, even if you're just using one credit card, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna give you a full host of reasons why you should use a credit card for all of your purchases, or mainly, pretty, yeah, pretty much all of them, over your debit card that you're probably using right now, or maybe you're already on the train like me, who knows. So the first reason is actually you're building your credit. This is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put money on your credit card, like, you know, you go and buy something from wherever, you pay it off, you're building your credit. You do that with a debit card, you're not building anything. You just have cash in your account, it comes out of your account, and if you get more cash, it'll go in your account. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, your credit score is increasing. Obviously, you're building a credit history. Obviously, it looks like you can take out more money and have more loans and do more things because you have better credit, which you will not get with a debit card. That's number one. My second reason is actually a purchase protection reason. You don't know how long it took me to get that, but purchase protection. Regardless, let's say for instance, you're shopping online at H&M or something like that. You're buying a shirt, hoodie, pants, whatever. You get it in the mail a week later and boom, they got your size wrong or you just don't like it. Maybe the material's trash. You're just like, eh, not for me, I'm gonna return it. If you use a debit card for that purchase, well, your money's gone, your money's on hold, your money's, your money's vanished, you know. They take your money quick, but in order to get a refund, it's gonna take like another week, two weeks after they get the product back. Come on. If you use a credit card, however, your money's not really gone. Your money's still sitting in your bank account, but you just have that balance on your, you know, credit report or, or credit statement or whatever you wanna call it. But obviously you can go and return it and get your money back freely without actually losing any of your hard earned money at all. So. Right there, purchase protection, that works for obviously every credit card, but obviously some credit cards have better deals than others, but that's every credit card. So that's number two. My third reason, and it actually should have been my first reason, but I'm not, I didn't wanna to get too in depth with it, and that's basically safety and security. Your credit card is way more secure, way more safe for you to use than any debit card will ever be. If you lose your debit card, somebody uses it, running up those charges, you know how hard it is gonna be to get that money back. However, on a credit card, if someone, if you lose it or someone steals it, they run up those charges, you can dispute all those charges right away. You can dispute it from your bank account, from your banking app, which everybody has their banking app. Who doesn't have their banking app on their phone? You can do the same thing with the debit card, but it's a little bit more of a hassle and you'll definitely lose more of your personal information if you lose or your uh, debit card gets stolen. So I don't wanna jump into the security reasons too much, but greater security for sure, that's what we're gonna title that as greater security, that's number three. My fourth reason, and this actually kinda goes back into the purchase protection reason, which was two, I believe. Regardless, I'm actually gonna give you an example. So, me and my friends, we went to Vegas like, what, I don't know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, whenever, whenever we turned 21, we went to Vegas. They were waiting on me. Went to Vegas, one of them didn't have enough money um, when we got to the hotel, actually, to put the entire security deposit for the hotel on his credit card. I believe he had a credit card at the time, for on his credit card. So he asked me to put it on there. The thing is, that's fine. I did. I put it on my credit card, so wasn't any worries there. But imagine if I didn't have a credit card at that time, that security deposit on my credit card would have been on my debit card. And you know what that means. If your security deposit, for instance, was, I think it was $500. If that was on my debit card, then that's $500 that I cannot use at all. They're just automatically taken away from my account, even though they're not taken away from me. They're just taken away from me temporarily but i mean that's my whole vacation the whole time i'm there five hundred dollars vanish if i had a credit card we'll have to worry about it luckily i did so it wasn't an issue but i'm just saying definitely if you're traveling anywhere you need a credit card it's not even an option it's really not an option just get something basic get something that'll cover security deposits or anything like that 
if you're traveling anywhere you need a credit card for security reasons for traveling reasons all that get one that's step four or tip four i believe let's go to the next one one of my favorite reasons so tip five is actually the rewards so you're getting let me think you're getting the cash back you're getting the gift cards you're getting the points you're getting all this stuff back that you would not get anything back from a debit card ever period 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 Period. None of that. You're not getting none of that back from a debit card. They're not giving you any type of rewards for using a debit card versus using a credit card. Obviously, you guys watched my last video. If you didn't check it out, but my Uber card gives me 4% back in what? What is that? Uber card gives me 4% back anytime I go out to eat, 3% back in travel. Apple card gives me 2% back anywhere as long as I use Apple Pay. So all these different things, giving money back, gift cards, cash back, rewards, sign up bonuses, all that stuff. You're not getting any of that when you get a debit card. Just make sure if you're doing this, obviously, I'm just giving you the information, but if you're doing this, don't not pay the credit card. I mean, obviously if you get the credit card, don't not pay it. Like make sure you're paying it off on time every month because you don't want that interest because that deletes the whole purpose of the credit card. So that's step five, get all those sweet rewards. Tip five, step five, tip five. I don't know why I keep doing that. So tip six actually extends more off of tip five so basically rewards but we're gonna jump into it and do credit card specific oh, I hate that word perks credit card specific perks so basically um, I'm gonna run down to the ones I have for my credit cards because I guess that would be the easiest way to kind of like you know explain it to you guys so I'm gonna be re reading right off a sheet here because it's plenty of them for my Apple card they actually have a feature on there which no other credit card company has which I call a perk essentially because it is a perk um, which is map purchases. So anywhere you buy something, it'll give you the exact location. If you're buying, if you're buying it physically, it'll give you the exact location of where you bought that product. That's just one perk. The daily cash back, which I also believe no other credit card company is doing, where you get the money back that you spend, the two percent, three percent, or one percent back that you spend the very next day. Most credit card companies, you have to wait at least at least a week. Yeah, I think Uber's like about a week. So at least a week, at least to like the transaction goes through. I mean, you do have to wait till the transaction goes through on Apple, but it's only a day. It's not like a month or some mess like that. Also on the Apple card, which is also a perk in my opinion, because no other card does it, is basically nothing on the card. When you get your physical Apple card that you use rarely, but the point is when you get your physical Apple card, if someone steals it, you're good. Essentially, you just, you know, mark it off on your iPhone be like, oh yeah, someone stole my car. I lost my car, whatever, but they don't get any of your information. There's nothing on the card. There's no CVV number. There's no card number. There's no expiration date. The only thing that's on it is your name. They probably already knew your name to begin with, whatever. So that's that. For my Bank of America card, I don't really think they had that many perks, but one main perk they did have when I signed up, they had 0% interest for 12 months. So that means when you go and buy something, you can pay it off whenever, as long as it's within 12 months, you're good. You don't have to worry about paying any interest at all. I don't know if they still have this deal, but when I signed up for my card, 0% interest for 12 months. It's plenty of other cards out there that do this, and it might be even longer than 12 months, maybe 18 months, two years, who knows? Is that two years no it's 24 months yeah so who knows but that's the probably the main perk that i used off of my bank of america card they don't really have many other ones but like i said before it's still a great entry card it's still a great card to get you started with my uber visa card they have great perks as well basically you get six hundred dollars in cell phone protection so let me tell you how this works actually all you have to do is use your uber visa card to pay your cell phone bill with and after about the first statement they'll give you, or if anything happens to your phone, whether it's damaged, lost, stolen, they'll give you up to $600. I think you can redeem this twice a year. So if your phone breaks twice a year, you're dropping your phone all the time. They'll give you up to $600 in protection. So you crack your screen or something like that, they'll just give you $600 or however much it costs to replace the phone or replace the screen or whatever you need to do. They'll cover that. Another perk of the Uber Visa is a $50 um, streaming credit. So like if you use, well, I mean, not saying if you use it, because I know you do. Netflix, Hulu, um, Disney Plus is coming up. If you use any of those streaming services, they're gonna give you $50 credit towards that. All you have to do is spend $5,000 using the card within a single year, which if that's your only card or you only have like one or two cards, that's pretty easy to do. I'm pretty sure most people spend $5,000. You might think you don't spend $5,000, but you do. So that's another perk right there. 
all this stuff is on their websites and stuff like that i'm not here to tell you guys to go get those cards but i'm just here to let you know that these are amazing perks and people need to know about them actually the third perk that i have for the uber card is the rewards on the app so literally you can go straight to the app on your phone the uber app on your phone and redeem the rewards this stuff is so simple and then you just pay it off and you just have these rewards you have gift cards i already redeemed like a hundred dollar amazon gift card it's nothing because they gave me they gave me like a hundred dollar credit soon for spending 500 which i did in like two days Ugh, come on lastly i don't have this card but i probably or i want to get this card in the future and that is the american express gold card and they have oh my gosh this card is actually the only card on this list that i mentioned so far that has an annual fee so that's something to think about when you're actually getting this card and you know you're not gonna get this card for no reason but regardless they have tons and i mean ton they have about 15 different types of perks i'm only going to list a couple of them i got them written down right here so i'm gonna be looking down for like half a second to let you guys know regardless they have purchase protection so if you buy something i think they insure it up to like i think um I think two thousand dollars or something like that so if anything happens to it they'll literally refund you the money so if someone steals your iphone and you bought the you bought your iphone with the mx gold card there's a new iphone what that's a great perk um they also have an extended warranty so like on top of the warranty like if you know how you buy an apple product you might not buy apple pay so you're only getting like what a one-year warranty if you use the mx gold card to buy it you're getting a five-year warranty. What? <laughs> they also have premium roadside assistance. So if you don't pay for roadside assistance through your car insurance company, or if you know your parents or whoever, you know, don't know, I don't know. But if you don't pay for that, cause that is an extra fee on your car insurance monthly. If you don't pay for that, if you have the Amex gold card, you're getting that. What? <laughs> like, this is so easy. They also have probably one of my favorite features and why I really want the card it's because well i don't really go to concerts as much as i used to peep the um the damn hat um but every time you go to concerts if you have an american express card usually through ticketmaster and maybe um other other sources i think it's usually through ticketmaster though which is like who doesn't use ticketmaster um they have pre-sales so you get first preference or first preference on the seats before the general sale happens maybe two days later three days later a week later regardless you get those seats before anybody else can buy those seats, period. What? Come on. I mean, this card does, you know, I think it does cost like $100 a year, but I mean, you're getting some good stuff. And another one, the last one I'm gonna mention because I'm just, that just it's just a great card, I'm telling you, it's a great card. Regardless, they have um, baggage insurance. So for instance, uh, you know, something happened on a plane flight you were taking, you were traveling, somebody, lo they lost your bags. American Express got you covered, paying for it, so basically yeah all you have to do is you know book your flight with the american express gold card that's it on top of that they also have the six percent back and the four percent back on something else but i mean that's more rewards I wasn't really getting into that regardless the perks are amazing so credit card perks are definitely something to be on the lookout for that's pretty much the end of the video i just wanted to give you guys a real gist of all the things that credit cards do they're not bad they're only bad if you don't know how to use them i would not recommend you getting any credit card at all if you're not gonna pay it off in full or at least make the minimum payment every single month, but really paying it off in full is the goal. You don't wanna pay any interest. There's no reason to buy something for $300 or whatever and pay more than it costs unless you literally have to, but yeah. Regardless, you're getting a lot of stuff for doing essentially the same thing you're doing now. You're paying it with debit, just pay it with credit. You're not hurting, you're, you're, you're literally helping yourself because you're building your credit, you're doing stuff. I literally just gave you a whole video on it. I don't have to tell you again. Regardless, thank you for watching this video. I'll have more videos in the future. I'm out, Dollar Mike, peace.